Uh, stakeholders in Nigeria's and Northeast are calling for the development of a comprehensive transitional justice and reconciliation policy to support the mass surrender of Boko Haram fighters. This call came during a multi-stakeholder engagement organized by the Alamein Foundation for Peace and Development. News Central's Maru Kedawa completes the story. The engagement brought together a diverse group of stakeholders, including community and religious leaders, persons living with disabilities affected by the insurgency, representatives from civil society organizations, among others. They all underscored the critical need for a transitional justice and reconciliation policy in the region to address the deep-rooted issues caused by years of conflict and violence. We can correct the situation, demystify the radical and then uninformed tendencies in them and then make them active citizens. And as I'm talking to you, out of the 90 we pilot tested, about 80 of them have now become community peace champions. Some of the women have gone back to the bush, in fact, will come back with their husbands. During the discussion sessions, stakeholders highlighted the importance of a holistic approach to healing, justice and reconciliation. They stress that such a policy should focus on seeking the truth, reparations, reintegration and the restoration of trust among communities affected by the insurgency. Actually what they did is misconception and we need to at least create an awareness between the society and those people who have repented that these verses that they misconcept, it is not translated as they understood. One just need to forgive and let's come together as one um, family in Borno State and one family in Nigeria. Various participants shared personal stories, traumatic experiences and loss, underlining the urgency to address the profound effects of the conflict. Uh, we cannot just in, uh, initiate programs, one off programs, and go away. Even if we are not going to sustain everything, but let's ensure that all the mechanisms we have enshrined, all the mechanisms we have in initiated, have sustainability component to ensure that there is sustenance of discussions, deliberation, and dialogue in the communities about the issues we have raised. The call for the comprehensive mechanism, the transitional justice and reconciliation policy, is said to echo the collective desire for healing and rebuilding Borno and the Northeast Nigeria as a whole. Umaru Kirawa, reporting for New Central TV, Meduguri.